the all of my lip products like vanquished off the face of the earth these are the lip products that i would personally repurchase and i feel like are worth the splurge first things first before we start one of the most important parts of any lip product is a good lip mask and i'm gonna put you guys on right now my current favorite lip mask is from lawless and i've been using this for the past three four months i feel like i've gotten pretty good use out of it so far i use this every time like right before i put on any sort of lip product i always use this i put all of my favorite lip products in this say little makeup bag i'm just gonna be reaching for different products i tell you guys right now if i had to sit and try to think of a top five or even like a top ten I couldn't. And that's the exact reason why I've put myself on restriction and I haven't bought any lip products for the past month or two. I don't know. I'm already talking about how much I love this lip mask, which by the way, this is a plumping lip mask, which is kind of genius because it gives your lips like that nice little plump before you even put on like a lip products. But Lawless's Cherry Vanilla Lip Plumper itself amazing and i'm gonna be completely honest what got me to even want to buy this in the first place was literally the smell if you're wondering why this isn't empty yet i have this awful habit for some reason when it comes to lip products that i really really like i like to hoard it and i know it's like doug highly when it runs out you buy a new one but for some reason i just have this like block where i can't and i will kind of not let myself use it as often because i don't want to waste it which is so not good, but this smells so amazing and it just feels so good. Oh my God. I don't know, there's just something about this. The shine is so, so good. It's like the perfect amount of tint on the lips without looking too crazy. Like it's also gonna be another reoccurring theme when it comes to lip products for me. I'm super, super picky, but this lip plumper in specific, I would repurchase in a heartbeat. Even as far as the burning sensation goes, it's super, super light and subtle on the lips. So if you're really, really sensitive to lip plumpers, try these out, specifically this shade. I personally feel like these don't get the hype that they deserve. And I think I've said that before, even though I know that people know these Tar 28 glosses exist, I just don't think they're given the love they need to because these are crazy good. For these to be in Sephora and only be, they were $15, but inflation happened so there's 16 dollars now but 16 dollar lip gloss in a sephora is very very hard to come by like there's 16 dollar lip glosses in target right now as we speak if you really don't want to spend that much money on a lip product but you still want to perform like a high quality gloss try these in any of their shades they're so pretty these two are personally my favorite but shade coconut and shade xoxo i tried this in a past video so i'm gonna put this one on i don't talk about this enough but it's so good it's this really really pretty pink and it smells like really really yummy coconuts on a beach they're super super shiny and moisturizing but there is no stick whatsoever so if anything kind of feels like a lip balm but it looks like a lip gloss i love these and i really do want to try more shades i think i've talked about this before but i've always been a lip girl like in Claire's when they had those little lip palettes or like Injustice, I would collect those and I had this bowl that would just sit in my room. And like I said, I could literally care less about my outfit or anything. Like if I was going shopping with my mom, I just wanted to add to my little bowl of lip products. I just wanted to add to my little collection that made my life. So I'm always going to be a lip girl at heart, always. One thing I have a lot of are the Fenty glosses. Most of these are lip plumpers. If I had to choose my favorite out of all of these, it would be these two. The Fenty Ice and Fenty Sweet Mouth. This is the regular gloss. It's obviously just a clear gloss, which sounds really, really basic. But if I just splurge on any clear gloss, it would be this one, just because it makes your lips look so good. But this lip gloss is not talked about enough. For me personally, this is the perfect everyday gloss and i've talked about this before but only once even on camera it doesn't really give it justice that it deserves but this is so so gorgina i love it it's these really really tiny pink sparkly yumminess 
that kind of peeks through the gloss like in person. It gives these really, really pretty, almost angel lips, if that makes any sense. And normally I wouldn't include like the newest lip products I have just because usually you kind of show that product a little more love and everything else because it's the newest, but these are good. I honestly want to try every single shade of these in beauty lip oils bella gave me a few of these to try out and surprisingly enough this is my favorite shade you know how much i love a very very natural lip like even to the point where i don't really like wearing matte or really anything that pigmented on my lips i feel like it just looks not right on my face trust me when i tell you guys the moment this month is over and this whole lip hiatus i'm on is no more I'm trying more shades of these, and I'm getting a backup. This is the shade Berry Jam. It also smells like Berry Jam, which is insane. The two shades I have are Glaze number five. This is the Fruity Cereal one. It's this really pretty light pink. And then this is Mystery Glaze, which looks clear in the bottle, like kind of pinkish, but on your lips, it's more of like a pink shade. Really, really pretty and good for every day, but I'm gonna show you guys most popular shade is the candy apple which i haven't tried yet and i'm going to try i might even say even though i haven't tried the candy apple one that this is still gonna be my favorite just because of how much i love it i would even go as far to say that these are my favorite lip oils i've tried so far which is a very big statement but they might be i also feel like this fruity cereal shade doesn't really get that much love so I'm gonna show you guys what this one looks like. Across the board, they just hit. Even the smell of this, it really does smell like fruity cereal to me. So know for a fact, I'm not the only one that kind of tastes their lip products when they put them on. Like, sometimes you might get a little... These taste good. I know I've already talked about how much I love Patrick Ta's lip plumpers. These are actually insane. I don't think I showed this shade though the shade full syringe i have talked about two cc's remember how i was kind of talking about how this gives me like angel lip vibes this is like angel lips for real for real i know we're only talking about lip products but this is kind of multifaceted in a way where it can be really really low key but it can also really really stand out which is kind of exactly what i like and look for in a lip product something super natural yet you're gonna notice how shiny and pretty it is like what i want down to a t i'm trying to look and see if you guys can see the mini sparkles on my lips for me this is the perfect in between what i mean by that is i love sparkles and sparkly lips i hate frosty lips on me personally because i feel like it makes me look washed out and ashy <laughs> and in my opinion this full syringe shade is also really really underrated it looks kind of scary in the bottle but it's really really natural on the lips this one will kind of sting your lips a little more it's a little more intense but if you're someone like me who really doesn't mind the sting effect i mean i used to literally wear the Too Faced lip injections every single day. That was my everyday lip at one point. It's really not gonna be anything too intense. For me, these really are worth every penny because they last so long and they make your lips look so good. Before I even talk about the actual product itself, these are only $4, which just makes it that much better, in my opinion. I wear this clear one every single day. Just the perfect lip balm. I mean, obviously this is only clear, so it's not really a color thing. The formula is insane where this almost looks like a gloss or like a Summer Fridays lip butter for $4. That's crazy. Wet n Wild as a whole, honestly, is one of the very few drugstore brands that is actually drugstore. All of their products are really, really affordable and I love that. So good also have the shade juicy this is just kind of a sparkly it isn't too much of a tint to it if anything it's kind of like maybe a peachy pink kosa's wet lip oils are not talked about enough in my opinion these are so yummy love the shades these are my four favorite and if i had to describe the scent it kind of reminds me of a sugar cookie I also saw a few people saying that this shade 
unbuttoned was like the perfect universal lip oil color. Do you agree with that? I feel like this shade would look good on anybody. And last but not least, I know you guys are gonna be like, wow, another sparkly lip product. To be fair, I've only shown one other sparkly lip gloss. This is technically a lip oil. These are very, very different. I love the sound. This shade gives me fairy vibes in the best way. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you next weekend. I'm vlogging this week, so I'm really excited.